Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQB.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. We begin with Jason Laney and the forecast. And it looks like the weather's going to do what it's done the last couple of days, and that is provide us with a round of afternoon showers and storms, courtesy of a cool front and additional moisture. Now, the better chances for rain will be north and east as far as this Thursday is concerned. However, into Friday, we'll shift the focus a little further west. And as we keep with that, it looks like the showers may even continue into the upcoming holiday weekend. An accident on I-40 near Klein's Corners left two people dead, others injured, and traffic backed way up. The accident happened just before midnight when a semi-truck hit a pickup carrying a family moving from Fresno, California to Lubbock. Eight-month-old Adrian Abada and his grandmother Sylvia de Leon were riding in the camper shell of the pickup. They were killed. Five others in the pickup were taken to University Hospital. The semi-truck driver was not injured. Both lanes of I-40 were closed down for several hours while state police investigated that accident and another one nearby. The FBI helped now a Colorado man accused in an Albuquerque murder. 21-year-old Andrew Newman was arrested for the stabbing death of a man at the Uptown Apartments back in May. Police say the victim's body was found lying on the couch covered in blood. The knife, believed to be used in the stabbing, was recovered in the apartment and fingerprints were lifted. Now, the FBI matched those prints to Newman's in a nationwide database. He's jailed on an open count of murder. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. 